Hello and welcome to part four for now the last one but as we already saw there are many jerseys I didn't cover so there will be part five if not a part six like for all the other leagues but let's get right to it because uh, I'm gonna talk anyway a lot I don't want to make this too long the first team that we look at uh, we left off with Real Madrid there's only actually one other team that you would say Real and that's Real Sociedad de San Sebastian and again Macron delivers uh, this looks great really uh, blue and white stripes nice shirt color uh, even striped sleeves then look at the sleeve the sleeve cuffs I like this one let's look at the back yeah well we have maybe the bank on the bottom and the blank white shield but again uh, Basque flag now the look of this is great and I know this is down to reg regulations this is a 10 great shirt great shirt unfortunately not as great is the away jersey first of all gray gray is never a color that I will like second the accent color uh, this minty green out of nowhere and then the back is just a dark gray so you get this two-sided look but the bank doesn't have the outline as it did for other jerseys that we saw previously no 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 everything that can be wrong is wrong with this one this is just pulling some weird colors and making a sale and then taking maybe the I'm just looking at the pattern here but also there I can't see now three stars not gonna spend more time on this one two stars two stars it's that bad the next one is Sevilla and yeah Sevilla was one of the big New Balance teams uh, of Warrior and then became New Balance and now it's kind of the last second they switched over to Nike I guess they are getting more money that way the one thing that is the most odd thing about this one is that this is the 2016 template that they're using for this shirt. It does look all right. I mean, it has the Sevilla color, it's white, it has a little bit red and so on, but it's a 2016 template. Why can't we have the 18 template? Uh, probably they didn't like it or whatever. I, I don't get it. I mean, it doesn't look that bad overall, but this is odd just for such a big name team. Uh, I mean, the only... It's a stock jersey. The only customization is on the back. We have this little uh, flag with the old Sevilla logo. And unfortunately, my Spanish is not all as good that I can tell you what this means. Uh, if you know, drop me a comment. Ugh, I'm sorry. It, it looks like a Sevilla jersey, but like a boring Sevilla jersey. It's just a Nike template with the crest soon on and not much more to that. For that I give, I give it six. It's kind of average-ish. And the away jersey, yeah, again the tempo, but at least the two something here. The weird thing is this is if they have would have used this color on, on this template a lot more, where you just the taping around, you just take a different color, then the color looks actually better. Uh, but I don't like the dark red and so on. This this looks too weird to me. This is a five star. And then the third star, although it makes somewhat sense, but that's just black for black six, and I don't like the gray sleeves, and we give it a four star. I'm sorry, Sevilla, you had actually quite some interesting shirts with New Balance. I don't know why you go Nike here. I assume money, 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 money. So Sevilla is uh, was one uh, that what I call second tier teams in Spain. You know, after the big two and now three with Atletico Madrid. Those three for me are stand now a little bit above the rest. Although, you know, there's always one team. Atletico Madrid might drop out and then Sevilla comes in or Valencia and so on. And Valencia is where we're going next. Um, let me just pause and look up whether this... Because I see a lot of gold here and I want to make sure I'm giving this the right to. So let me pause here and I'll be right back. Yes, my assumption was right. This is the centenary kit of Valencia, unlike for Udinese in Italy. And yeah, with centenary kits, you can go two ways. You either issue your first jersey 
or a version of that like uh, Milan and Barcelona have done you go or you go back to a somewhat classic looking jersey and I remember Real Madrid or you put a lot of gold on there and create a different type of look and I think this is the, um, I think I know this is the way that Valencia went here uh, using an Adidas template that actually doesn't look that bad and getting rid of all the striping you just see it's the same color so it's a very plain and white jersey but it still has the three stripes which is um, odd I have to say then you have the crest with a little bit gold instead of having the Valencia colors and of course you get the gold Adidas logo here with a black sponsor and this will be worn uh, with white pants uh, oddly enough and black shorts I mean usually Valencia wears black pants these days um, it is simple it maybe has a lot of sponsors and I'm not so sure about the gold um, if you go gold and you want to celebrate the centenary go a little bit more out I, I would have forgiven golden stripes here I mean it's 100 years it's 100 years uh, is it bad no it's not bad I, I just find it a little bit too simple despite all the gold almost like PSG but this is better than the PSG away kit um, let's go eight stars and happy birthday Valencia then they have issued an awakened and this is more like it for Valencia dark blue the Codivo template and then orange and these are colors that Valencia has used it's not the nice awakened that they have with the Valencia flag that one is one of my favorites and I said I always want to get the first jersey but for Valencia I'm very tempted if I would get a Valencia jersey and I should get one I mean you see there are not too many La Liga jerseys back there uh, only two teams are represented if I would get a Valencia one that's maybe the one team where I would go for the away jersey. This one, maybe the orange could a little bit, bit brighter and so on, but other than that, I think it's nice. I even like that they have now the full colored crest here. That's how it should be. Um, I'm also going to go eight here. This is similar to the, what we had for um, Celta de Vigo. Yeah, so we have the two bigger names, and now we have uh, two kind of mid-table, typically mid-table teams, although one is getting a little bit further up. Next one is Valladolid and I cannot believe I see uh, Homer and I'm very happy to see Homer. And Homer also delivers a nice kit. They should have used this template for Denmark, honestly. It would have looked nice. Maybe this V is a little bit too deep here, but I like that this is the classic Valladolid kit with the white and purple stripes. Not crazy about the sponsor being in a purple band here, but I actually think this is probably the best solution here. I'm also not crazy about the red Hummel logo, but other than that, this looks really nice. Uh, and I assume there's also the city flag here on the sleeves. If that's really the case, that's a super nice touch. I like it has an old school, cla old school classic look to it. So, and therefore I give this a nine star, but I won't give this to the away jersey. The away jersey is just too much. You still have the purple, but this is navy. Uh, they want to tease me, but navy and this purple just don't fit together. Then you have to be striping. Nah, that's just a five. Sorry to say. Great home jersey. The away jersey, I don't like as much. And it's navy. Not, I usually like navy jerseys. And then the last one is the yellow submarine from uh, Villarreal. And what would you expect? A yellow jersey made by Homa. I actually like to have on top the pinstripes, but then it gets a little bit crazy on the bottom. But yeah, this is a classic uh, Villarreal jersey. I don't like the color. Again, it tries to uh, pretend there's a shirt color when there isn't one. If this was all yellow, I would be even fine with it. Uh, Villarreal and Kievo kind of have a similar look with Kievo, a little bit crazier. Villarreal is a little bit more understated and you know, they have the crest. Yeah, seven. Speaking of crazy, their away kit is pink. And again, with this weird band here, weird color. Oh, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna get much from me. This is, this is a two. This is just too much. I don't think even my daughter will like this one. This is a two. And then the third jersey. Oh, yeah, I tried to tease me with the red and black, but I still don't like it. 
What is this on the bottom? What what were you thinking? Keep it black. Uh, the color the inset is alright. I think the other thing is alright. Um, no, three stars. I'm not gonna go higher with that. Yeah, Homa here, you didn't convince me. Well, I ran through all the La Liga jerseys that I have at this moment. And yeah, when this posts, there are probably many more released and I will make more videos. have to redo the set then here. But yeah, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Let me know in the comments what you thought about all these jerseys, whether you agree or disagree with me. If you want to see more of uh, videos like this, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.